Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where my audacity looks a little different than normal right now all of a sudden. So I'm really hoping everything's okay with this audio, like the commentary specifically. <laughs> I'll check it in a minute. I just finished eating my Korean barbecue. It was freaking delicious. Uh, let's go to here. Look at the secret place. She doesn't even have... Like a, like a sign or anything. Like the consort lives here. You have to be in the know. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm She's like, haha, you idiot. <laughs> you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Uh, it's not just, like, the in it, there is innuendo here, but it's not just that. I think they're also, like, they're like therapists advisors and also anybody potentially you can sleep with them if you want to <laughs> what exactly do you attend to well each acolyte has her unique abilities some soothe with song others with conversation as much as possible we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes my specialty is touch my fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Uh huh. I'd like to try out your services. <laughs> Kate's like, what? Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. Well, yeah. nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Uh, I don't think there were other personal. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it She's for them. She's like the ultimate courtesan, in that like they were usually trained in like music, song, dance, even literature, you know, as well as like everyone's always like, "Well, oh, man, you could sleep with the wool." He's like, "Yeah, that was that was something," but there were so many other things too, you know, so so many other aspects, advisors, uh, even like yeah, politics, you know, like especially the higher level ones, you know, like they're trained in politics, you know, like it, they they're multifaceted. <laughs> You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. It'd be interesting to have a companion like her in the future, right? It reminds me of the companions in Firefly, too. Kind of a thing, you know? Like, at least a little bit. Like, oh, I like... Yeah. Yeah, like the companions from Firefly. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, Mr. Oh, man. The, they did some weird to her. The boob line was weird. Like the... The high-fidelity graphics were like, oh, no. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Like, uh, they're like, this is supposed to be a bit fuzzy here. Whereas in high fidelity, it's like, just a line. <laughs> what does she want to see me for? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask her I yourself. Don't know. Did she wink just at me? head upstairs. She'll be waiting she for you. I think she just winked at me. You'll have to see for yourself. Wink. Mm. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely pink outfit. It matches, it matches the consorts. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see oh, you. Oh, thank you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. 
The Kantar is a wonderful person. She has quite a gift. Yeah, I think she's the first human? Maybe not the first, but she's the only human you can see here who's been included. It's nice, you know? It's like, it's not... I think the Asari have a unique ability to, like, have, like, the telepathic stuff, but the fact that Shaira, like, sees something in that human woman is, is interesting, too. Sleep pods! You only ever see this, I think, in Shaira's room. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. I... how do you know? Like, also... What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Also, I don't know if she's just like, you know, very uh, politically, emotionally astute. Or if she does actually care enough, but like, I don't know, that guy is like spilling lies about her and she's like, I still respect him too much to like, you know, to tell his secrets. And I'm like, that is very high-minded of you, you know? <laughs> or or it could just be like she know, it could be like a gambit that she know will pay off in the future, potentially. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. Don't touch me! If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. I just... Oh, don't touch me! It's so awkward. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. It's just so awkward. She's like... It, it, I don't know. Like, it, was, it wasn't really a moment to like hug somebody or like rub up against them. I don't know. It was just weird. You're with the Alliance. Uh, my brother's um, a private, back on her. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. It's just, I don't know, and like, Shepard like, doesn't move. Shepard's like a beam pole the whole time. And it's just like, you just stand there like, eh, you know? Like, it's awkward. It's so awkward. It's so awkward. Oh, dang, they did a good job with the statue. Mm. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? Hard to believe the Krogan were once seen as the saviors of the galaxy. Yeah, it is interesting. The, 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 the history of this statue is pretty interesting. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various uh -huh. goods and services to their exclusive mm -hmm. clientele. Mm -hmm. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. It is interesting. The whole... everything to do with, like, statues and memorials of events. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Mm. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, yeah. but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. Humans. I think that's what I said when I first played this. But that whole thing, the whole 
whole Krogan issue is a fascinating one, honestly, to, like, I mean, people, people still, and, like, a lot of the discussions have, like, resurfaced and been, like, re-examined with the Legendary Edition coming out. I can't, I can't do justice to it all right now, but it is, it is quite a discussion topic. <laughs> Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan, and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate, and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by Sir, the Turians. There were a lot of issues. And it all started with the Salarians uplifting a species they saw as warlike and inferior to fight a, to, to be disposable soldiers in a war. And then them getting out of hand, you know. They did, they did, they were violently expelling neighbors from other planets. You know, like the Krogans weren't saints. They're not like 100% victims in this, you know. But they were uplifted in the middle of their own, like, nuclear wars and thrown into another war, and, like, when you're... when you're told that's all you're good for, you know? Like, that's... I don't know, that doesn't really create, like, a stable society. You know what I mean? What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2,200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? <laughs> I'm sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Yeah. That's all for now. They do, Thank they you do for using Avena. Go into more, Have a pleasant day. more detail, at least a little bit, especially later on when you get, you know, you know, in the future. Um. Yeah, where, so where would I probably go? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe, no, uh, anyway. Oh, that's right, because, uh, Barlavon gave me the Rex tip. I think I would probably, well, I'd probably actually go to the Garrus one, and I, I try to remember, not just me, but, like, what I would do or what I did when I first played, and I think it makes the most sense to get Garrus first, because he is the one that you encounter first, and he is a CSEC operative that has potentially incriminating evidence, or at least a route to incriminating evidence. Hey! Wait. I don't think I have enough, I don't have, I don't think I have enough yet for that. I gotta wait. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulation. It's against regulation. We need to go find Garrus, and I know where Garrus is. Technically, is he? We're going. Let's just go to Warren's. Hi, Caden. I think we have to go down to go up. Into the like, there's like an upper portion of the wards. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Uh. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Caden's getting a migraine back there, and I apparently have back problems. And Ashley does what I do, which is pose randomly when I'm in an elevator or holding still. As one does. You just, you know. Pose. I might actually run into Seasick really on accident. Man. He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is gonna be his if we take down his supplier. 
That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about this that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. You guys couldn't be dressed more like cops if you, you know, tried. You know? Like, we're gonna go keep our eyes peeled for our marks. It's like, mm. If you're not, not wearing that, you're not gonna catch anything. Doo -dee -doo -dee. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to pull. I'm right here. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. <laughs> People are always like, Caden's so passive, but here he is. Frick, what was that? I mean, I know this keeper is here, but... What was that crashing noise? Oh yeah, yeah, I have to do the overlook. First things first. With this squad. I've missed it before and I was sad. You can only do it with these two. You can only do this observe point with these two. And once you miss it, you can't come back with them. At least as far as I know. Big place. Is that your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage. <laughs> and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Mm, Ashley, get, but get out of here. <laughs> Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful winds, <laughs> emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, <laughs> humans, ma'am. <laughs> you don't take much shore leave, do you? <laughs> Oh, stop it. <laughs> I actually can't remember what happens here with a mail ship. Is it Ashley who says something? But it's so funny. Ash Ashley is technically the junior officer, right? To Caden. Uh, but it's so funny. Just, she manages to slip in just enough snark, you know? <laughs> Regulation snark. It's funny. <laughs> All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenka, but we're on duty here. Uh, I am. I. I'll walk drag. <laughs> I think that I think that means she'll walk behind us. <laughs> it's like an official, like military, like formational type thing. I think I'm pretty sure. Anyway, you don't get that if um if you don't bring those two out. Uh, I can't remember if there's like. Are you too stuck? I think that where is Caden going? Bye. Bye, Caden. He's like, just took off. He's like, mega. He's just like, I can't believe I said that. He just, <laughs> he just stood there for a second. And then, there he is. Oh, wow. That was, that was freaky. I'm not going to lie. That was a little weird. There's not actually a way to go around this way. I think it waited until it, it was an area he could spawn that I wasn't looking at. And he walked into it. Anyway, I think that'd be really, it's just really funny. He just like stands there for a second, and then he's like, "I'm out." <laughs> just like mega embarrassed that he said something like, "My commander is attractive." Come on, man, I am. I am very attractive. Truly, though, the expanse of the Citadel—you could you could put a whole game just exploring one ward arm, you know. It's just so massive. I don't know. This view this view has a lot of nostalgia for me from I think all three games, honestly. Especially the third one. 
Huh. Y'all, I love this game. Hang on. So I know we're supposed to be, like, searching for Garrus, right? And potentially we don't technically know where he is. But I do happen to know where he is, so... You okay, Caden? What are you... What are you doing? Why are you crouching against the... Where is that? Ashley's still stuck. Never been a real fan of crouch. Yeah, I guess I can tell. Like, I... It's, it's pretty obvious. I'm not gonna lie. Ashley's just, like, hitting it up with these two. You think it's expensive to live here? I'm sure they can tell you. What the heck, you guys? Come on, we're on duty. We're on duty here, you guys. Oh, dang, I don't know where Garrus is. I lied. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Clo Michel. Is there something I can do? Frick. That's right. Oh, that's right. I gotta talk to the guy. Man, I, I'm like, I know where Garrus is, but you guys are like, no, screaming at your monitors. I apologize. I'm a moron. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Very different from Chakwa. You're a doctor. Oh, well, uh, how did you end up here? My on parents the brought me. That's my nice. I chose to keep Supplies? the medical tradition. Let me take a look at what you. Of have. course. Medical. Uh, oh, oh, a level eight. Holy moly. Oh, uh, the first aid interface. Medical interface. No, it's not one of the upgrades. It's just, yeah. Can I sell junk? Do I have junk? I don't even have any. Anyway, I'm a moron. It's fine. First, we have to go talk to that stupid guy. Cora's dead. Oh, my eyes. Who's just a sexist pig, and I wish they'd give us a DLC option to kick him in the teeth. I would just really love that. Not the Presidium, Emily Wong. Hello, we can talk to you. Commander Shepard. You're the excuse me, Commander you're Shepard. You're the only only reporter I like. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. That wasn't uncovering corruption. That was like fending off wave after wave of, I think, Turians. <sighs> no, no, no. I lied. I'm so sorry. That was First Contact War. Uh, Skillian Blitz was when the Traverse Banditos, whatever they are, um, they all banded together and tried to take over, like, what was it? The planet? I can't... The, Sk the Skillian? I can't remember the name of the planet, but yes. They tried to take over the planet, and I held them off for, like, three days or whatever with, like, me and... A I think I was on vacation, too, technically. It was just, like, me and a garrison like held this off that's the thing it wasn't just me right it was like a really small garrison but yeah that wasn't that wasn't turians that was before my time my bad <laughs> before shepherd's time rather i think she was maybe very young she might have been very young there's a timeline we can look at how do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need you wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big and if it's big it's something i'd like to hear about how do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Hmm. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. The outfits are very... The, the dresses are very impractical, but I do, I do think they're quite pretty, honestly. This is the way. Oh no, Conrad's over here. Oh boy. Hey, and it's the receipt guy. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? 
No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. Nah. I'm sorry, Ben. I can't help you. But what would you... Can't help you. I don't think you uh, learn until, like, Mass Effect 3 that it's, like, essentially, I don't know if it's the same guy, but I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who's, like, trying to, like, been returned like, a microwave or something. Um, and you can, like, you can finally, like, kind of knock some sense into him and, like, knock him on the head in Mass Effect 3 because you can run around talking to people and resolving small conflicts, right? Just, like, in a couple of sentences and stuff. Um, and this is one of them. Where you can kind of call him to task, like, God, we got bigger things to deal with right now. Why are you making a big issue out of this? Best place on this board to buy upgrades. I, I don't know ever if this guy was supposed to be something more or what, but, like, I, you, you can't do anything with him. As far as I know. Too many lights, too much noise. I totally understand. You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action Oh, uh, this definitely seems like the kind of place Ashley would be happy. Is more in the wards. Uh, here. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you Those will aren't soon. exactly human colonies. But it doesn't well, matter they where are. you hail from. Well, my goods are available to all. Pharos is a human colony. No, there he is. A laboratory world. Mm. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private supplier. Uh, I'd like to know more about Pharos. For no reason. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Well, I'm sure it's nothing. Ah, yeah. uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I think it's the Solarian. I'm sure you will find something pleasing. The Solarian guy. Metagel upgrade. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what? What? Oh, okay. I was thought it was going to be less than 100, and I was like, you've got to be joking me. I don't even have enough for a cheapy shotgun. It's fine. I don't mind. Anyway, let's get this over with. It's you. Uh, You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Will be nice. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Mm. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <laughs> Here you go. These two are laughing their buns off on the inside. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Don't even, don't even say anything. Not really my kind of place, but there sure are some spectacular things. Don't here. even say anything. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? Like, Shepard's just like, mm, I can, like, feel them, like, grinning behind her. Uh, this guy. I don't actually. I know where I'm going, but I don't at the same time. At this point, uh, I don't. I don't go down here very often. But it's okay. I know where I'm going. Yo, what up? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, I just. I just I, I'm a liar. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. I play this game so many times, and I have no idea what I'm doing ever. And that's fine. <laughs> so. Anyway, I'm going to call this one here, but thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.